Ariel Helwani for MMARated.com being joined by Ash Bowman, who tomorrow night faces Josh Thompson in a uh, non-title match at the Playboy Mansion for the Strike Force show. First off, Ash, how are you doing today? I mean, I'm doing excellent. Great. i um, waiting for this my whole life. Step up to the big show. It's a dream come true, man. Um, for the hardcore fans out there to know about me, I've been around for a long time, man. I've been a pro for about 10 years now. Um, I've been with Lions Den for about nine. And uh, this is my big break. It's my coming out party. And I'm excited to fight Josh Thompson. And uh, Josh is a champ for a reason, but he's a man. He bleeds, and he can't be beaten. And that's, the, that's my game plan tomorrow night to take him out. I want his spot. And I'm here to do it, man. I'm trained hard for this fight, hard as ever. And uh, I'm excited, man. There's a little bit of discrepancy as to what your, your record is. Yes. Uh, different, uh, different sources say different things. So clear the air. What is your record? My actual MMA record is 9-4. and four. Um, Although uh, out there, a lot of my fights, I used to fight back in the East Coast before we had um, the uh, commissions were involved. So a lot of my fights were kind of underground, even though they were pro. Um, some of them I didn't get paid very much for, but they were still pro. Um, and they still haven't really reported uh, all of my fights yet. So, but who cares, man? It's a record. It's numbers. Oh, I do have two more. I'm sorry. Actually, there you go. So 11, and 11 and 4. Excuse me. I, I get hit too much. Sorry. So, um, but, uh, you know, um, I've been doing this for a long time, man. And uh, for the hardcore fans, they know me. You know? So you're, you're obviously very excited. I can see it. You are anxious for yes. tomorrow. Um, yes, when you sorry. got the call that you were going to be facing Josh Thompson at the Playboy Mansion for Strike Force, I mean, just describe to me what was going through your mind. Um, first of all, sitting in my apartment complex, I get a call from my agent, and uh, he goes, Man, you got to prepare yourself for this one. You're going to be fighting Josh Thompson. And I literally jumped on top of my coffee table, you know, excited. You know, you thought I've already won the fight, but, you know, I'm just excited uh, the fighting Josh Thompson, you know, ranked number seven lightweight in the world now. Um, it's a blessing, man. I'm, I'm, God is blessing me. The fans out there, this is for all them, all the hardcore fans. Uh, it's about time, man. I was pumped, you know. I'm still pumped. So this is, I'm, I'm ready to fight last week, bro, you know. Did you think that it was going to be a title fight at first? You know, I didn't care. I don't care. I, I, you know, I love the fact that, um, you know, it would be great if it was a title fight. But in all honesty, I haven't really done anything to warrant it being a title fight, you know, for, you know, all intents and purposes. So, but the fact of the matter is that, um, you know, I beat Josh, I'm still going to put a chink in his armor. It doesn't matter if I take his title or not. I don't care. I just want to beat the man. I don't care about titles and whatnot, dude. I'm here to win. I'm here to fight. And I'm here to perform. You know, titles, they're great if you get them. They're great if you don't. Who cares, man? But I'm here to win and, and, and for the fans, man, you know? All right. Well, last time we saw Josh Thompson in, in action, he was very uh, versatile. I mean, we saw him on his feet. We saw him on the ground. And Gilbert Melendez couldn't really do anything with him in his title victory. What are you expecting from him tomorrow night? Again, Josh is uh, the champ for the reason, um, but like I said, if he's a man, he bleeds, he can't be beaten, you know, and, and uh, every dog's got his day, man. Tomorrow night is my time to shine, you know, and uh, the thing about me is I'm a little unorthodox. Um, I'm a lion's den guy, so I'm a leg locker. It's kind of a forgotten art in MMA anymore, and anybody who knows me, who's ever seen me roll or has rolled with me, they know that I'll get a hold of your leg. I'm taking it home with me. Um, I'm versatile too. Um, we can bang, we can strike. This is MMA, man. You know? And the thing about it, I'm not Gilbert Melendez. I'm Ash Bowman. So I'm fighting Josh Thompson, man. I promise you this, it's going to be a badass fight tomorrow night. Badass fight. And you've been training with Ken Shamrock, obviously, for this fight. He has a big fight coming up as well. Absolutely. What's it like training with uh, the, the quote unquote world's most dangerous man? Man, uh, you know, Ken is the uh, most demanding coach in the universe, man, but it makes me a better person, makes me a better fighter. Um, you know, and he was training me uh, in the beginning for this fight for Josh Thompson until we got the word he's fighting Kimbo Slice. And then Ken had to do his own training camp, so I got my own training camp to take care of me in, in the meantime. But Ken uh, does come in and oversee me and making sure that everything is polished and refined. And uh, being with Ken, man, is, like I said, it's a dream come true, man. I watched a kid guy ever since I was a kid when MMA came out, man. I was watching him on TV in my living room going, one day I'm going to be there, you know. And, and look now, you know, it, it, if, if people believe in themselves, even when others don't, your dreams will come true, man. And that's it's the way it is. You know, you keep doing something long enough. And if you, doesn't matter if you win, you know, your race at first, or second or third place. Who cares if you come in last, bro? As long as you finish the damn race. You see what I'm saying? Doesn't matter, man. As long as you there start and you finish, doesn't matter, you know. Was there ever a point where you thought this day might not come, that you'd be fighting for a big organization like Strikeforce? Man, you know, obviously everyone's dream is to, uh, to get into uh, MMA when they start out. They want to go to the UFC or Strikeforce or Pride or whatever it was, dream as it is now. Um, you know, again, I had this dr dream and vision years ago. I knew a matter, it would be a matter of time, man. Just a matter of time. You work hard at something, bust your ass, bro. 
you got no choice but to get your shot. You know what I'm saying? And I, I promise you this, dude, I put my time in. And the hardcore fans out there know this. You know, I put my time in, bro. And everyone else that doesn't know me, I'm a dark horse in this, uh, you know, fight coming up. But you will know me after tomorrow night. I promise you that. All right, well, give me two quick predictions. Ash Bowman versus Josh Thompson. Ken Shamrock versus Kimbo Slates. Um, what do you got? Ash Bowman versus Josh Thompson. I'm winning. Uh, I don't care. I'm hitting him with everything but the kitchen sink. So I might even hit him with the kitchen sink. Who knows? But I'm coming home. I'm going to be victorious tomorrow night. Ken Shamrock versus Kimbo Slice. October 4th down in Sunrise, Florida at the Bank Atlanta Center. Kimbo Slice, I would not want to be you, bro. I promise you this. I've seen Ken training. He's been fucking phenomenal right now. Dude, I don't want to be you come October 4th, bro. That's all I want to say. And uh, we're both going to win, so God bless you. All right, well, first things first. Tomorrow night, Ash Bowman going up against Josh Thompson in a non-title fight uh, at the Playboy Mansion for the Strike Force show. Best of luck to you, uh, Ash, and uh, we're really looking forward to seeing you in action. God bless, man. This is for all the fans at home. Everybody's going to get their money's worth tomorrow night. I swear to God, dude. I'm going to win or die trying, baby. God bless you guys.